whole home power guys in a small compact thing, 240 volts, you can't beat it. This can power your whole house with one small, simple unit. Stay with me. We're going to go over the Anchor 3800 solar generator in just a minute. I'll give you all the specs, show you the accessories with it Guys, and all that. I've had this Anchor for uh, a little over, yeah, a little over a month now. Uh, I'll tell you straight up, Signature Solar gave me this unit when I went out to uh, deploy with Grindstone Ministries. They gave me this to help power some of the stuff that we were doing. I used it out there a little bit. I got just a little bit of video I'll throw in here and there but Signature Solar gave this to me. It's an amazing unit. This is the Anchor Solex 3800 series. This is essentially a 3800 watt hour solar generator. I've got panels with it. You can get it with the 400 watt solar panels. Y'all have to leave, bear with me. My voice is cracking out. I've got a sinus infection and allergies and everything going, so my voice sounds a little crappy. But this is the Anchor 3800 unit. This thing is amazing. It's got, let's look at this unit. Essentially, you've got a car socket on the front to uh, charge it. You've got uh, your USB-C and your USB, uh, your power button. You gotta hold it down for just a few seconds and it'll come on. There, we're at 100% right now. I've charged this thing. It's been setting for a couple weeks since I charged it, but it still shows 100% charge. It's got a nice screen on it that's easy to read. <coughs> this unit is on casters. It's a heavy unit. I think it weighs around 135 pounds, but with the casters and everything, it's easy, portable around. I won't lie, it was heavy to put it up on this table. It's not something that I would do all the time. Uh, slinging this thing up and down on the table. But uh, this right here is uh, your plug for your expansion batteries. Uh, the expansion battery set right on top of the unit and it's got a cord that you run over and plug into there. You've got, that is their, uh, their plug. I think it's a proprietary plug to plug into their uh, house system. But you've got your, uh, 120 volt uh, plug to plug it into uh, shore power, AKA your house. There's your uh, circuit breaker. This has got two solar plugs on it. And it comes, some of the accessories that come with it, you've got your uh, small short solar plug to plug into your things. You come with two of those. You've got two solar cables that you can uh, extend, extend it out. You don't really want this to set out in the weather. So if you're gonna charge it, you could set it inside your garage and run your solar panels out several feet to get those out in the sun. <coughs> Here's your charging cable right here to uh, plug into your house power to charge it. It also comes with the splitters to use if you're gonna use multiple solar panels on it. And we will spin this thing around. This is the side with all your power. You've got six 120-volt uh, plugs. Each of these are 20-amp plugs. You've got two 240-volt uh, uh, plugs. There are 25-amp uh, max on those. So they're not a true 30-amp plug. But you've got your RV and your uh, other, other style of uh, plug on there. You've got your circuit breakers right here. Here's the uh, spec page for the Anchor Solex F3800 portable power station. You can see there's a picture of it. And as I scroll down, your capacity is 3,840 watt hours, AC power wattage. The total has got a 6,000 watts in it. That's 120 volt and 240 volt. Your AC ports, you've got six uh, 1,800 watt AC ports on there. You've got also, uh, you got also your 240 volt on there. You've got two of those. And then uh, you've got USB-A, you've got two 12 watt of those. USB-C, you've got three 100 watt capacities. Then also 
uh, your AC AC input power when you're going to plug it into your house you can charge up to 1800 watts solar input uh, 2400 watts maximum solar you can put on that it's got two two separate plugs on that uh, your battery life cycle is uh, 3000 times of discharge on that also it's got a pa no power saving mode on this LCD display ambient light bar uh, smart app control that's where you can download it on your phone guys these are your technical specs on it have a look at it uh, all this is on the website signaturesolar.com this thing is a stinking nice unit it's heavy it's super well built uh, we're going to stick it outside here in just a little bit hook some solar panels up to it kind of show you the solar panel setup but i'm going to grab a uh, few power tools and turn them on and show you kind of what it looks like all right guys it's a little loud in the shop right now i've got my uh, cobalt air compressor going it's a 26 gallon it's a 1.8 horsepower compressor but i've got it going right now filling up and it's running off this anchor right now let's hit the display <clears throat> we're at 98 percent we started at 100 percent it's been running maybe two or three minutes we're pulling 1100 1133 watts right now it was up to almost 1200 a minute ago you're looking estimated running time it could run for two and a half hours pulling this kind of stuff what i'm going to do next i'm going to grab across the shop the big chest cooler i'm going to grab it plug an extension cord into it and then see what it's going to pull with that also stay with me and let me get a cord over there and hook it up all right guys i've got the air compressor going right now and then i've also got the cooler right there going the only thing that's running on the cooler right this minute is the led lights and the two fans in the top the compressor has not come on yet because it's cool what i'm going to do is run over there open the doors on it force the compressor to come on and then when i come back i'll show you how many watts we're running with the compressor on too all right <clears throat> The compressor, it went ahead, kicked the compressor off. Uh, so the compressor's kicked off, but the compressor was running anywhere from about 12 to 1400 watts on there. Finally, the compressor kicked on for the, uh, it finally kicked on for the uh, refrigerator. We're pulling 350 watts right now. It took a, a minute or two for the compressor to kick on. I threw, <clears throat> I pulled one of the doors open and uh, let it warm up so the compressor kicked on. And right now, that's pulling 350 watts for the compressor. It's saying that you could get from the display 7.8 hours off that. And this is a, you can look at it. It's a, uh, you can see it right there. It's a uh, two door commercial refrigerator. I think it's a 48 cubic foot commercial refrigerator. So you're, it's saying if it ran constantly at 350 watts, it's going to run at almost like eight hours. So guys, this thing is a pretty big machine. We can hook a bunch more stuff up to it. <clears throat> uh, but let's hook a few more things up and see what we can do. All right, do. guys, the air compressor's still not kicked on again. But we've got a uh, reciprocate. We've got a Sawzall and we've got a flush cut saw. The cooler, the refrigerator is still running. We're going to run all three of these and see what we bump up to. up getting at 1250 watts on that uh let's hook up something else uh i've got my commercial meat grinder we'll hook that up that's something i don't have to hold give me a second and we'll get it going all right we've got the commercial two-door refrigerator going we've got a carnivore meat grinder going right now we're pulling 772 uh watts out right now i'm going to go ahead and kick on the two saws and see what happens
it hit almost 1,650 watts on that. Guys, this thing is a beast. Uh, right now, even after all that crap, we've still showing that we had like one and a half hours to two hours, something like that, of a run time on it. Guys, you've seen all the stuff I plugged up with it. We have not got this thing really over 2,000 watts right now. And it's, I mean, this thing's a beast. I mean, not just the way it's built, but the heft of it, everything else. Uh, it was going to run that compressor. I think it was going to run the compressor for like three hours straight if the compressor kept running. And that was pulling something like 13, an average of probably 1,300 watts is what it was pulling. So it was going to run that for like two and a half or three hours, which that's amazing for a solar generator like this. Now the sun, it's kind of a crappy overcast day. Solar panels are probably not going to put out much, but I did use the solar panels over in uh, East Tennessee when I was over there. They're a set of 400 watt panels. I was getting something like 330, 350 watts on those when I'd set them up. Uh, it did good on charging that. Hey guys, these are the Anchor uh, 400 watt solar panels that came with this 3,800 unit. I want to set these jokers up in front of the shop, see what kind of power they're gonna put out, and uh, we'll plug the unit in and start charging it. <coughs> these are more of like a suitcase style. They probably weigh 30, maybe 40 pounds, if that. But they're a 400 watt panel made just for this, and they're gonna unfold. They've got a kickstand in the back on each panel to where you can set them up and set the angle that you want to for your son. All right, there are your panels. Honestly, I won't lie, they're kind of a pain in the butt to set up one until you get them all spread apart. They're relatively flimsy, uh, but they're other than that, they're a pretty good panel from what I've played with them so far. But that's your 400 watt setup. Let's get in here, we'll roll this out, plug it up, and uh, it's pretty much easy as pie. All right, as you can see, sorry for the shaky camera work. Those are your regular solar connectors, weatherproof connectors. You got your positive and your negative set on there. I did reposition these solar panels. Setting out in pretty much full sun. It's a little cloudy today, not bad. But they're putting out decent power. Like I said, these things are kind of a a little bit of a pain to set up but once you get them set up and figure them out they work pretty good that's what they look set up in the parking lot of the shop they're doing pretty good we'll get you over here they are hooked up to the solar generator and charging right now let's run over here and uh, look and see how much power these things are putting out all right we're back over here solar generator is charging you hit your display button <clears throat> right now these panels they're a 400 watt panel they're putting out 260 watts is what they're putting out and they're not optimum uh, as far as a line. They're aligned pretty much close 
uh, due south as I can get without using a compass, anything like that. They're set on a decent angle to collect the sun. Of course, we're in wintertime. Uh, but we're looking 260 watts is what they're putting out right now. We are at 90% charged. And uh, it's the solar generator is saying in 1.6 hours, we'll be at 100% charge. So let's kind of hang out, see what it does, and uh, see what we've got. All right, it's been about an hour and a half. Uh, this is sitting out here, same spot. The sun's moving just a little bit, so it's getting a little less sun. We'll check on it. In an hour and a half, it's brought it up 4%. We started at 90%, we're at 94%. Uh, but the panels, like I said, it's only draw, it's only pulling 56 watts right now or 55 watts. So the panels need to be moved a little bit. I'm losing some of the sun. It's kind of going behind the shop. Uh, if I really needed to charge this thing, I would go ahead and move the panels over and kind of track the sun a little bit better. But this is just for demonstrations. But in an hour and a half, uh, we went up 4% on this. So that's pretty good with a limited amount of sun and just 400 watts of panel. Here's the Signature Solar website at signaturesolar.com. This is uh, the website for the Anchor Solar 3800, uh, F3800 solar generator. This is the one that includes the 400 watt panels like what I've got. Right now I'm just scrolling through. You can see the price right now is $32.99. For this also use the code homestead and that will save you some money on uh if you order the unit from signature solar uh here's some of the pictures of it it's got a 6,000 watt inverter it'll do 120 volt and 240 volt heck you can charge your uh ev with it if you want to but that's their website it's got some specs on there i'll leave a link to the website also